Introduction Catch this frisbee, Aryan. I get it. Now it's your turn to grab the frisbee. I will catch it. Do not get hurt yourself. Oh, it's paining. Aryan, see, a layer is formed over the injury and bleeding also stops. How it occurs? Yes, our body has its own mechanism to act on the injuries and it forms a layer of protein over the damaged area which prevents the loss of blood. Wow, it's quite interesting. Will you tell me more of it? Sure. In this lesson, you will learn about body fluids and circulation in human body. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe blood and its components Explain groups of blood Explain coagulation of blood Know about lymph Describe circulatory pathways Explain cardiac cycle Define cardiac output Define electrocardiograph Briefly explain double circulation. Discuss regulation of cardiac activity. Discuss disorders of circulatory system. Blood Blood is an opaque red fluid, freely flowing and has high density and more viscosity than water. It consists of plasma and formed elements. Plasma Plasma is a liquid portion of the blood, is complex solution containing more than 90% water and about 6 to 8% of proteins. The proteins in plasma are fibrinogen, globulins and albumins. Fibrinogen helps in blood clotting. Globulins are involved in defense system of the body and Albumins are responsible for maintaining water balance in the blood. Without plasma, blood cells cannot travel throughout the body. The clear liquid that separates from blood on clotting is called serum. Formed elements Formed elements include erythrocytes, leukocytes and platelets. Erythrocytes these are also called as red blood cells. These are the most bounteous among all the cells in human body. The function of the red blood cells and hemoglobin is to carry oxygen from the lungs to all the body tissues and it also transports carbon dioxide, a waste product of metabolism to the lungs where it is excreted. Leukocytes Leukocytes or white blood cells are the cells of immune system that fight against infection and protect our body from infectious diseases and foreign materials. White blood cells are of two types, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes include neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils. Whereas, agranulocytes include lymphocytes and monocytes. Neutrophils and monocytes are phagocytic in nature. Basophils are 12 to 15 microns in diameter and produce heparin, histamine, etc. These are the chemicals which induce inflammation. Eosinophils are formed in the bone marrow. It acts as antiparasitic and participate in allergic reactions. Lymphocytes are of two types, B and T lymphocytes. They fight with diseases. Platelets Blood platelets are also called thrombocytes because they secrete thromboplastin. These are smallest blood corpuscle. Blood platelets are non-nucleated, oval, 
by convicts disc like bodies. Their number varies from 0.15 to 0.40 million per cubic millimeter of blood. Blood platelets produced from the cytoplasm of large megakaryocyte cells of bone marrow. Blood groups There are two groups of blood. They are ABO and RH. ABO grouping On the basis of antigen and antibody, there are four types of ABO grouping that are A, B, AB and O. From the table we can say that the person with O blood group can donate blood to any other blood group so the person with O blood group is called universal donor and the person with AB blood group can receive blood from any other blood group hence the person with AB blood group is called Universal Recipient RH Grouping RH factor is an antigenic protein present on the surface of erythrocytes. It was first found in a rhesus monkey. If RH antigen is present, then those persons are called RH positive. And if RH antigen is absent, then those persons are called RH negative. RH group should be matched before blood transfusion because if RH negative person is exposed to RH positive blood, then person with RH negative blood start forming antibodies against RH antigens. If pregnant mother has RH negative blood, and fetus has RH positive blood, then there is no major problem in the first delivery. But during first delivery, the fetus blood intermingle with mother's blood and the mother's blood start forming antibodies against RH factor in her blood. In the subsequent delivery, there is possibility that RH antibodies from the mother leaks into the blood of the fetus and destroy the RBCs of the fetus. This is called erythroblastosis fetalis. This can be avoided by treating mother after the delivery of first child. Coagulation of blood Coagulation of blood is the process of conversion of blood from liquid form into solid form. When the blood comes out of an injured blood vessel, the platelets clump together, break and release platelets factors. The prothrombinase initiates the conversion of prothrombin of the plasma into thrombin. The enzyme thrombin is used to catalyze the conversion of soluble protein fibrinogen into insoluble protein fibrin and it forms network over the injury. Calcium ions are necessary for the coagulation of blood. Lymph, tissue fluid. Lymph is a fluid connective tissue. It is colorless, translucent and alkaline in nature present between capillaries and tissues. The fluid present in the spaces between the cells of a tissue is called tissue fluid or interstitial fluid. Circulatory Pathways There are two circulatory systems, open circulatory system and closed circulatory system. Open circulatory system is a system in which circulating fluids is not confined in vessels. It is found in arthropods and mollusks. Whereas, closed circulatory system is a system in which circulating fluid is confined in vessels. It is found in mammals. Human Circulatory System Heart is a chambered muscular organ in vertebrates that maintains the flow of blood in the entire circulatory system. 
heart is enclosed in a double walled sac called pericardium which consists of outer fibrous and inextensible layer and an inner serous layer in between the two layers the space is filled with fluid called pericardial fluid and it prevents friction between the walls of heart and the surrounding tissues the heart of human consists of four chambers two atria and two ventricles atria are located at the broader end whereas ventricles are at the posterior end the two atria are separated by an inner atrial septum whereas the two ventricles are separated by interventricular septum the atria and ventricles are separated by atrioventricular septum the opening between the right atrium and right ventricle guarded by tricuspid valve whereas the opening between the left atrium and left ventricle is guarded by bicuspid or mitral valve the pointed ends of the av valves are attached to the ventricular wall by cordae tendinae the two major arteries leaving the heart are pulmonary artery and aorta their openings are guarded by semilunar valves the wall of the heart made up of cardiac muscles a specialized tissue is distributed through the heart and is called as nodal tissue the two nodes are sinoatrial node and arterioventicular node sinoatrial node is located in the upper wall of the right atrium it coordinates heart contractions and it acts as the pacemaker for the heart Atrioventricular node is present in the right atrium near the atrioventricular septum. A bundle of nodal fibers from the atrioventricular node divides into right and left bundle. These branches then split into small fibers called Purkinje fibers in ventricles of their respective sides. These fibers with right and left bundle called bundle of his on an average heart has 72 beats per minute cardiac cycle initially the heart is in joint diastole that means all the four chambers are in a relaxed state as the tricuspid and bicuspid valves are open blood flows into left and right ventricle from pulmonary veins and vena cava respectively through left and right atria at this stage semilunar valves are closed now the san generates an action potential which simultaneously stimulates both the atria to contract this is called atrial systole due to this the flow of blood increases into the ventricle now the action potential transmits through atrioventricular bundle and then through bundle of his into ventricular side due to which the ventricular muscles contract and atria relax due to the contraction of ventricles the ventricular pressure increases so that tricuspid and bicuspid valves get closed to prevent the backflow of blood with further increase in pressure the semilunar valves open allowing the blood to flow from ventricles into blood vessels through pulmonary artery and aorta the ventricular pressure goes down due to which ventricles come into relaxed state causing the semilunar valves to close and tricuspid and bicuspid valves get open and the heart once again is in joint diastole state the sequential events in heartbeat is called cardiac cycle cardiac output the amount of blood pumped out by each ventricle in a given time is called cardiac output stroke volume 
It is measured as amount of blood pumped out by each ventricle in each beat. Its normal value is 70 milliliter. The product of stroke volume and heart rate is called minute volume. Its normal value is 70 milliliter into 72 equals to 5 liters approximately. Heart produces two sounds during each cardiac cycle. The first one is lub, which is produced as tricuspid and bicuspid valve close, and another is dub, due to the closure of semilunar valves. Electrocardiograph ECG Electrocardiograph is an instrument used to record electrocardiogram ECG. Electrocardiogram detects and records the electrical potential of the heart during cardiac cycle. A typical ECG consists of characteristic waves which correspond to particular events in the cardiac cycle. The P wave is caused by arterial systole. The QRS wave is caused by ventricular systole. The T wave coincides with ventricular diastole. The heart rate can be calculated from the interval between one P wave and the next. Double circulation In double circulation, the blood flows through the heart twice. In pulmonary circulation, blood is transported between the heart and the lungs, whereas systemic circulation carries blood between the heart and all other parts of the body. Each organ has a major artery which supplies it with blood and most have a major vein taking blood back to the heart. Two exceptions are the stomach and small intestines. The blood from these organs is carried by the hepatic portal vein to the liver where the digested food is processed. The blood is transported back to the heart by the hepatic vein. Regulation of cardiac activity Intrinsically, the activities of heart are auto-regulated. A neural center in the medulla oblongata balances the cardiac activity through autonomic nervous system. The part of autonomic nervous system that is sympathetic nerves can change the cardiac functions such as increase the heartbeat, ventricular contraction due to which cardiac output also changes. Another part of autonomic nervous system that is Parasympathetic nerves can change the cardiac functions such as decrease the heartbeat, contraction and relaxation due to which cardiac output also changed. Disorders of circulatory system High blood pressure or hypertension Increase in the pressure of the blood that is above normal value 120 by 80 called hypertension. It leads to disease of heart. Coronary artery disease or CAD. In this, the coronary arteries become narrowed and coronary artery disease also known as atherosclerosis. It leads to heart attack. Angina. It results in chest pain when not enough oxygen is available to the heart. When the heart does not pump blood effectively to the body, then heart failure condition arises. Did you know? Gut bacteria rich in antioxidant producing microbes may reduce cardiovascular risk. In humans, each day, hundreds of millions of fresh red blood cells form to replace the ones which come to the end of their life cycle. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Blood consists of plasma and formed elements. The proteins in plasma are fibrinogen, globulins, 
and albumins. Formed elements are erythrocytes, leukocytes and platelets. There are two groups of blood, ABO and RH. Coagulation of blood is the process of conversion of blood from liquid form into solid form. Two circulatory systems are open circulatory system and closed circulatory system. Heart is a four-chambered muscular organ that maintains the flow of blood in the entire circulatory system. Electrocardiogram detects and records the electrical potential of the heart during cardiac cycle. Disorders of circulatory system are hypertension, coronary artery disease, angina and heart failure.